Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about the units associated with the magnetic field and we express the magnetic field with the letter B. The units for magnetic field is called Tesla, so we use the letter T to indicate the unit for magnetic field and Tesla is defined as Newton per amp per meter. We're first going to calculate the units by taking the force experienced by a charge moving through a magnetic field which can be calculated by as follows it is equal to the charge times the cross product of the velocity of the charge object times the magnetic field or the magnitude of the force can be expressed as QVB times the sine of theta now the sine of theta will not have any units which means that the B field, and assuming that it's perpendicular, so the sine of theta is 1, that the B field is equal to the force divided by Q divided by V. Now using those units, we should be able to calculate what the units are for the magnetic field. Now, here we go. So the units for the force would be Newtons. The units for charge is coulombs and the unit for velocity is meters per second which means the second goes to the numerator. Expanding this we can then take newtons and express it in terms of what newtons are equal to. That would be kilograms meters per second squared, that's for newtons, times seconds in the numerator divided by coulombs times meter in the denominator. Notice that the meters cancel out and one of the second cancels out, which means that the units for the magnetic field is going to be kilograms divided by seconds divided by coulombs. Now we should get the same result by taking the definition of the magnetic field, at least the units of the magnetic field in terms of Teslas, which is newtons per amp times meters. Now we can express the terms of newtons in terms of kilograms, meters per second squared. Amps is charge per unit time, so that would be coulombs per second, which goes to the numerator, and then we have meters in the denominator. Again, when we simplify, the meters cancel out, those seconds cancel out, and we're left with units of kilograms in the numerator divided by seconds times coulombs in the denominator, which is exactly what we had over there which means that those are the basic units of the unit of Tesla, which is the unit of the strength of a magnetic field. Now later on in a video, a little bit later, we'll, we'll also talk about the concept of Weber as a unit for magnetic field, but at least at this point the standard unit of Tesla can be defined as kilograms per second per coulomb in either way that we've calculated it. And that's how it goes.